Oh my God. Is that the faces of the future? Jump into, let's jump into Top Boy real quick, man. Um, for those of you who haven't watched that spoiler alert, because we're going to discuss it. Um, so Top Boy um, released their third and final season um, on Netflix this past week. Um, and I was just looking on the internet and things of that nature. And a lot of people weren't happy about the way the, the season the season ended, the season went, and things of that nature. So Moose... You a super fan? You think you one of the people over from the ends from the UK? What are your thoughts on that? Man's is a ZT, isn't it? You say you a what? Man's is ZT. The, what is Z- that? Zero tolerance. Zero tolerance. Zero tolerance. Where's my food, bro? If you know, you know. Man's, man's just moving. Man's just moving mad on the yard, isn't it? <laughs> Hell no. Hell no. Hell no. Man's gave us a bare bad season, isn't it? Hell no. You said a bare bad season. Yeah, that, that season was moving. It's a bad mad. man thing, no. No, don't ever do that again. <laughs> <laughs> you said, "Why well, one, bro?" Nah, nah, but um, yeah, I didn't like this season. It was not a good season. He it said was- the whole time. He said, "Don't ever do that again." Like you from there? <laughs> Who the fuck are you? <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Mine, mine's just really the man down there. <laughs> but nah, it wasn't. It wasn't a good season. Um, I'll shoot them bail. I'm gonna assume. I'm going to assume that this was written during the pandemic. Right. I'm going to assume that they probably lost some of the recording stuff that they did during the pandemic. Okay, you know, just because. You can kind of tell just by the riots, by the police brutality. Right. You can kind of just tell that that was something that was in there. They tried to write it in stuff that yeah. was kind of going on. Yeah. So, I mean, the whole thing. They didn't thi- do a good job of it. Continue. Yeah, they didn't. Uh, I mean, I get it, but they didn't. I'll also say what they, one thing that Top Boy always does well, which I'll always give them credit for, is that they always find a way to put in a lot of the things that is relatable directly to the UK, but also people from outside the US can relate to. Whether if it's US and the racism that is, I mean, whether if it's immigration and the racism that's attached to it, right. being locked up, um, postpartum depression, and issues that a lot of African Americans struggle housing with. Housing crises. Housing crises. Like, it was, it was really, really good from that standpoint, right? And I loved it. But what I but what I noticed watching the season was that it felt very hollow. And one thing about Top Boy is that it feels very intimate. You can kind of feel the feelings of what's going on. Right. And from 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 that particular situation, I kind of wrote that to how the story was written. I think that a lot of the things that they put in a third season should have been in season two instead of making the whole focus trying to save Lauren. Yeah, they should they should have sprinkled that stuff in, like you said. Yeah, because my thing is now it's like you brought in these random Irish dudes in the last three episodes. Like they weren't really terrorizing nobody. Yeah, I, that's what I'm saying. Like they, that, that point is like, what was the point of having them if just to have another enemy to, to create a storyline or like what a filler? Like what what was that yeah, about? Yeah, they needed a, they needed to find something else for a storyline to keep the story going. Um, because they didn't have a supplier. Because lie because you remember Lyth and Lizzie they disappeared because they, mm-hmm. they 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 that man right. Yeah, they zoled him. Yeah, and my thing is that if you're gonna do that, you should have had you should have had Lizzie have beef. You should have had Lizzie have beef with other Irish people that yeah. came in. And did what they needed to do, killed her off. Or you should have put that in a perspective where when they were going to Spain, you had that written in, like there's some beef with Irishmen. So that's how it kind of makes sense. Like there's no way that this random yeah, Liz- Lizzie, Lizzie, they finessed the yeah. mess out of Duchesne. And then it was just like what also bothered me the most about it was that like someone like Duchesne, who's always been known to be very meticulous in how he moves and talks to people, right. for him to just randomly kill yeah, I Jonathan hated that. I and hated then he that. had his fingerprints that's are everywhere, there everywhere. That that's not the shame. That's not his character. That's a Sully move. Yeah. That's Sully 101. Right. You get what I'm saying? And so it just kind of felt annoying with that. Um, Obviously, with Jack's storyline as well, I wasn't jacking it because, <laughs> no pun intended. Like, I wasn't. <laughs> it was Paul. Uh, was like, <laughs> <laughs> nah, I just wasn't, feel, I wasn't feeling it because it was just like, Jack would never steal from Sully. Yeah. Like, Jack's whole idea is to save her family. Whether it be through whatever means it is, and for you to make her steal from Sully, and she and she would always move a little smarter than the rest. Of, she was always her character was like smarter than the rest of the people she was like in her circle. Yeah, the way she moved, it kind of just made her feel like she was with everyone else, and that's not who she is. You know what I mean? And so, and then Aaron not being in there, and then Aaron not being in there. Granted, he was on a um he was on a stream yesterday with um popular streamer um Billy the Goat. Shout out to him. Um, he was talking about the fact that like he just didn't want to be in it because there was no story arc for him. But I, I I get that, but at that point you're in the last season, bro. Finish it out. No, like, I get finish you. it out. Let us at least if you like leave in one episode. Okay, cool. We understand why that type of thing. But even like the development with his brother, with his younger brother, it's like it would have put things more together as opposed to just opening up. It's like, oh, Aaron's away. That type of thing. Yeah, because he was saying that they didn't give him any lines in the story. Because my thing is that like my dynamic that I would have liked was Steph eventually moving to the ends, but you have Aaron still trying to keep the essence of who Steph is and what Jamie wanted for him. But you didn't have that. You had 
you had all of um, Jamie's crew doing all that. Yeah. And for me, you kind of needed that balance of Steph being conflicted of what Jamie wants versus who Jamie is was. You was, know what I mean? Yeah. Like, and I felt that that would have been a better written story. But if you're not gonna give him no no credits, would I'm you would that. you have liked to then open up the season like with more detail into the closing scene of the last se- of of last of season two? Yeah, cause, Cause, yeah. Because it kind of just like it sh- showed obviously it, it, it intro showing like the recap of what happened, and then it kind of like opens up from that scene like right after things happen, as opposed to like what transpired in that interaction. I, w- I would have liked to see like the interaction after he, Sully did what he did to Jamie, Facts. and and seeing like what happened. After that, if that yeah. makes sense. I just think that I think that how they wrote that off was kind of stupid. Like Deshane killing Sully to me was a very stupid idea. You mean the other way around? So yeah, Sully killing Deshane was a very stupid idea. Like it just I get it, but I don't. I've said this before. I'm still I'm still standing by it. I just think that Sully's Sully's daughter and his baby mom should have died because those are one of the very few people he cares about. And I think that Steph should have been the one to do something to 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 kill Deshane. Steph, I don't. Get, I think Steph should have killed Sully or or one of his family members. That's what I thought it was playing out to be in the start of the season. Yeah, but I think that put it in in perspective for me, it's like when you really look back on all the seasons, everybody has always linked everything back to Deshane. It's never been <laughs> Sully and Deshane separate. True, Deshane has always been the mastermind. Yeah. So for me, looking at the perspective, I'm looking at it is if Sully was the one who wanted to send to hit out because everybody knows Deshane, everybody would assume Deshane did it. Yeah, but, for this, but but from the standpoint of Stefan's point of view, is like he just saw the man who shot his brother right That's in front fair. of him. So like, why would he even go for? He going after the person that did what he did. Yeah, but I would also look at the stand. And I, I think would, that would have made it for a more entertaining season too. It would, but I also look at the standpoint from from it as like Steph also knows who Deshane is. True, Deshane like people know Deshane will have people do things that they shouldn't be doing. Right. So it's like for me, I just would have had to have him do that, and I just thought it would have been poetic justice to be a callback to the very, very first last episode of Top Boy because you tried to make the reference when he was running around in Summer House like he did last time from the Turks. For all that, you might as well just add another child and have him get shot. How do you feel, how do you feel about Deshane um, getting left high and dry, like him getting finessed, him getting killed, and him, did you like expect all that to happen to him? Yeah, because he was acting, he was talking crazy to everybody. When he's been told, was talking crazy to everybody. He was, but he's been trying to get out though. Yeah, but if you're trying to get out, you're not like the thing is. If you're trying to get out, you need to also protect yourself to make sure that you don't have to go back in. True. And if you're gonna sit and disrespect people like that, you have to talk to them. You have to talk to people in a way that they're gonna protect you too. Mm-hmm. They want things. You can't just be like, "Yo, I need my money now. You better have it for me." Like you right. talk to your lawyer as if your lawyer is the one that robbed you. Yeah, he was in crisis mode at that point though. He yeah. was in crisis mode like that because he got they hit a lick on him. They hit a lick on him. I would have been sick. How, how many mil was it? Like they said, what, like 13, 16 or something like that? So it's 15 crazy. mil? Yeah. 15 piece? Yeah, 15 pounds, bro. Yeah, that was just dirty. But that's my thoughts, bro. I thought season I thought season three would have been a little better. I feel like it was a little rushed. I, I was expecting like the season to be at least the same length as the last two seasons or or, or um, have a couple extra episodes just to leave the fans um, with something, man. Where do y'all rank that in terms of like drug crime shows? Mm, that's not top five. Not even close. Now, who do you think killed Sully, though? Real quick, though, before we get into that. Who killed Sully? Yeah. Um, I think, like I said, I think um, it was one of the one of the people from, like, Jamie's crew. What, Cy. What was his name? Cy. Cy. Um, yeah, the kid who they put the barrel in mouth thought he stole the money, but he didn't. Because Cy was the only time person I think would be on the same type of time. Um, or, like, maybe the Irish, Irish uh, men came back or something like that. Even though they whacked the whole, that whole little crew, maybe, like, they came and did what they had to do. I don't know. I don't think it really matters who killed him. Who do you think? What, why? What do you mean? Because I think that that was the whole point of it. It's like you've caused so many enemies from everybody that it could have been anybody. Right. And I think that based off of it being that, I think it was just a situation of like they specifically did it because you, you've you done what you did. Yeah. Granted, I don't agree with how the karma was set out. You know what I mean? But it was just like, yeah, I just think that for Sully, I think that it just it didn't really matter at the end of the day who killed Sully because – You've done what you've done. You've recklessly killed everybody. Right. You know. So it was just a karma thing at the end of the day. Yeah, it's just yeah, it was just a karma thing. Overall, what do you uh, out of ten? What do you um give me your Rotten Tomatoes score for for season for, for the season for, or overall? Overall and this season, we'll do the overall rating and we'll give the season rating. The season is definitely like a four, but I would say overall, I give it a six Actually. just because it got progressively worse as it went on. I was gonna say a six, a six five, six seven. In terms of like overall rating, like a six point seven or a six seven, like a six. No, like a six point seven. Uh, I give it like a seven, just because. Uh, I didn't see the last season yet, though. Go ahead, you're gonna you, your rating might drop. 
But I'm not going there with an open mind. Nah, yeah, I kind of was tuning you guys out while you guys were talking about it, but like I'm definitely gonna see the last season because I do fuck with Top be, Boy. You're not gonna be happy. 